immersive way to play San Andreas today. Yeah, man, it's dope. And I'm a sev as fuck, dog. But I wish it could be more. You know, DLV. So what's up? Can't you steer with the damn thumbstick? Hey, yo, phone man. Shut up. Hang on. What's up, homie? Who hey, this? Hey, Carl. Hey, sweet. What's up, Liz? Yeah, he got it. Yo, yo, who this? Oh, well, who's this? Come on, guys. It's VR Fight Games. It's me, Daigo. Yo, yo, it's Ed. Sup, sup, sup. Uh, hey guys, it's the other Carl. Cartoon Carl. Not Carl Johnson. That, that would be you. But the one that works for VR Fight Games. Not the one that's currently working for VR Fight Games in this video. Uh, uh, yeah, hi. Ah, yes, sub dogs. Yeah, yeah, we're just calling to say, okay, so we managed to get Grand Theft Auto San Andreas into a very playable state in VR, thanks to work done by Stony VR, and later built upon by ourselves and other members of the modding community. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Yo, check this out, guys. Y'all gonna love this. Yeah, yeah. What if I told you you could play this game with a virtual steering wheel? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check it out. There is this plugin by the user known as Maslow. Uh, he got in contact with me over in Flat to with some very intriguing information regarding a universal virtual steering wheel for UEVR. Yeah, any game that involves driving in any capacity, like Grand Theft Auto, like, uh, like Hot Wheels, like Pacific Drive, uh, Five Laps at Freddy's, you name it. Any game that involves a vehicle that you have to steer with a steering wheel can now be played with a virtual steering wheel. Now, yeah, I know, people will say, well, I can just play it with my racing rig. Sure, you could if you had it, but what if you don't? What if you don't own an expensive racing rig? But what if you want to kind of experience what that might be like virtually? Now you can do that. So, all right, Carl, you want to tell Carl how to do this? Who? Me? Nah, he means me, I'll, I'll tell you. Man, this is gonna get confusing and shit. CJ, uh, let, let's just call him CJ, let's call me Carl. Yeah, or you can call him CJ. Okay, I'll be CJ, you be. You call me KK. The fuck, you a clan member, crack. No, no, KKK, jeez, oh, calm down, man. Oh, God, we're gonna get cancelled. No, KK, Cartoon Carl. <laughs> man, you're so white. Okay, sounds good, let's do oh, it. Oh, damn, here we go again. Another VR tutorial. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Alright, guys, okay. Woo! In the link in the description, you're gonna find link to the github. Go ahead and open that up. Alright. In there you need three files to download. Go ahead and download them. Now go to the second link and download that file. Alright. Now, where you place these files is vitally important. If it's not in this exact spot, it's not going to work, alright? So I need you to open up your C drive, go to users, your particular username, whatever it is. Ah, uh, CJ in your case, I guess that's Zucker first bitch, is it? Ha ha ha, you was his bitch when he done announced GT of a quest. And you still his bitch after the cancellation. Shut up, man. All right, so C drive, users, your username, documents. Go ahead and extract the file there. All right. Go ahead and open it up. Look for UEV or steering wheel dot bat. See that? Go ahead, open it up. All I have to do is think. The first time you do this, you are going to get an error message, guaranteed. Just hit OK. It's fine. Alright, it's OK. Yeah, press that. OK, next step. Go ahead and install the DJOY software. Second link in the description. Just go ahead and get that installed if you don't have it installed on your computer already. Don't worry about the configuration. We're already on top of that with the plugins. Alright, you got that done, you got that squared away. Excellent. 
Now go ahead and open up your UE viewer. Go to global directory. Open that up. Now find that game you want to use for virtual steering. Find one, whatever it is. Alright, open it up. Go to plugins. Alright, on the two additional files you downloaded from the GitHub, paste them in there. So that is it. Now, you are yeah, ready Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. So now you're able to play with the virtual steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alright, so, how do you use the damn thing? Okay, cool. So, you're gonna need to use the open VR version. Alright, Steam VR is vital for this to work. Now, it will work with open XR, but you will not get an overlay, so you will not be able to see uh, where the steering wheel is in 3D space, so it's kind of awkward. So it works best with Steam VR. It was designed that way. So go ahead and make sure your UE VR is set to open VR. Have Steam VR running, make sure your headset and controllers are tracked. Alright, go ahead and start your game. And inject it with UE VR. Alright. Okay. Press shift once on your keyboard. You will see a steering wheel overlay just appear. Whoa, magic. Okay. In this first step, you will need to configure it. So if you press and hold both triggers, and move your controllers in, out, forward and back, up or down, you can reposition steering wheel in 3D space and also the size of the wheel. So essentially what you want to do is kind of match it up with where the steering wheel in game is. Try and get the overlay over that, roughly the same size. Bingo, you're ready. Once you have that pretty much where you want it to be, press the shift key again to lock it in place. That's it. Now in order to use the wheel, you can use left or right grip or both, to grip the steering wheel as though it was an actual wheel. Alright, and then just simply steer the damn thing. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Now, if you have that all set up and everything's gravy, you can go ahead, leave the overlay there if you wish, you can turn the overlay off. Obviously for the video we're going to leave it on so you can see it actually working. But in order to turn the overlay off but keep your settings intact, Press shift again. You'll notice the wheel disappear, but the configuration is still the same. If you feel that uh, it drifts or, you know, the position might have moved from where it was, simply recenter yourself. And that's it. And if you want to turn it off entirely, hit shift again for a fourth time. And then you can ladder, rinse, repeat again and again for new vehicles, new games, whatever it is. But that is it. That is how you play. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? Shit, you know, that's right. Oh, god damn, this is cooler than ice running down the crack of an Eskimo's frostbitten ass. Yeah, homie, this shit is hotter than the Carolina Reaper all up and Jennifer Lopez is hot as fuck, ass cheeks. There you have it, guys. That was... UEV or steering wheel by Maslow. Now it's based on an older project called Steam VR Wheel, but he has incorporated it, he's made plugins, so it is very user friendly and just works as you would expect out of the box with UEV or. That is the intention behind the software. It works freaking great. As you can see, we're trying it out with a few different games, just so you can see. And it's not at all limited to cars. Obviously, any vehicle with a wheel, so uh, like a speedboat. Uh, even an aeroplane, you know, you, you can you can do this. For immersion sake, once you have everything set up, you can switch off the overlay. We, of course, are leaving it on just for the video so you can see that it does, in fact, work. And yeah, it's freaking great. There's not too much negatively I can say about it. There's, there's nothing at all, actually. I have maybe nitpicks or little things I'd like to tweak or change, but it's only a personal thing. It doesn't detract from it at all. It plays fantastically. It does what it's supposed to do. But when you are adjusting your wheel, 
You can change the size. You can adjust it up, down, forward, back, left, right. You cannot tilt it. Now, again, it's not a big deal, but not all vehicles and cockpits are built the same. For instance, if you're in a truck, like you're a truck simulator, one of these games, you'll notice the wheel is kind of angled, almost at a 45 degree angle away from the body. It's not perfectly straight in front of you. So it would be nice to have a sort of a tilt function as well. I don't know how difficult that would be to implement. I don't even know if it's necessary. It's just a personal thing I would have liked to have seen. Another nitpick, like honestly, I think the overly idea is a stroke of genius. Like it, it just works, it's great. Uh, very user friendly, love it. However, if we could replace the 2D sprites with 3D models, it would be all the better for it. Because, I mean, it's VR, it's 3D. <laughs> again, not a deal breaker at all. That's just, again, a personal thing. But I, guys, I cannot stress how much I love this. I played Pacific Drive for the first time with this wheel. My god. <laughs> it transformed my experience. It was so much more immersive to be able to turn that wheel in real life. Yeah, it's made car racing simulators, arcade, car racing, just vehicle slash car based games in general are just so much more interesting now with this virtual wheel. And it is very, very cost effective. When you consider it costs nothing, <laughs> but a Trustmaster wheel or any of these things, yeah, it's going to set you back 100, 150, whatever it is. This is free, just download it. Use equipment you already have. Oh, I accidentally discovered it works with hand tracking as well. <laughs> Like, so with the, on the Quest platform with Virtual Desktop or Steam Link, you can use hand tracking, right? Over Steam Viewer. Well, I discovered I was able to move the wheel with just my hands, and I got this weird kind of phantom sense, like when I hit the grip gesture. I, I, I felt as though I was holding the wheel in my hand. It was so surreal. So for those who are curious, yes, it does work with hand tracking also. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so CJ Sweet, we're gonna leave you now. You can get acquainted with the software. Yeah, see you later. Yo, this is pretty sweet, dawg. Da fuck you say. You think I'm pretty? That better be the damn handbrake you're reaching for. Not you, homie. Chill. The UED on steering wheel is pretty Lame sweet. Here. Oh, my bad. Hey, so I ain't pretty. Little Walmart white tank top wearing ah, broke shit. Ass. Here we go again. So I guess we're gonna leave it there, you guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And uh, yeah, follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the descriptions and yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, VRified Games out.